at Gibbs High School, teacher Diana Pepper is lighting a fire and helping to launch the school's first automation production and manufacturing program. Those enrolled in the hands-on training could one day buy for hot in-demand jobs starting at $30 an hour. Do it. I jumped it earlier. Ready? I beat that. <laughs> Miss Pepper says she knows yes, from experience Steve, that the road to success can starts. sometimes be fraught What's with unexpected it? loops and turns Gravity. before the so right path appears. In addition to taking on motherhood, she earned degrees in philosophy, psychology, and a master's degree in ethics from Vanderbilt University. And all of that, of course, led her to become a district manager for Taco Bell. I was over the St. Petersburg stores, company car, great money, but you just get it's just these little sensors. See the sensors? Fed up sometimes. I want to do something meaningful. 25 years of that, you really just want to, it's just, money is not everything. Hear me, kids, money is not everything. <laughs> In search of a new fulfilling career, Ms. Pepper entered the transition to teaching program. She traded in nachos for pneumatic machines and found her recipe for passion in education. It is passion. I, I love Gibbs. I want to be here. I don't want to go anywhere else. Um, I relate well with these kids. I just love them. It, it takes a village. It, it takes um, teachers going above and beyond, building relationships with students. Ms. Pepper does that plus more. Not only does she build positive relationships with students and um, encourages them, motivates them, she also um, goes above and beyond outside of the classroom by finding additional resources for them. Grant, she's always, I'm going for, after this grant, I'm going after that grant. In addition to that, providing opportunities for them to become involved in things that they're not necessarily um, familiar with. Both of my parents are illiterate. I relate well with these kids. I just love them. I think I can see myself in them. I, I see, you know, I, I never ever thought about education in the least. I did not do well in high school at all. And something just clicked in me that I wanted a better life. I wanted a way out. And tell you the truth, I had a couple good teachers that got me. Someone reached out and said, you can do this. And um, you, just, you need a little self-confidence sometimes. So I hope I can do for these kids what was done for me. It is with that understanding she raised close to $20,000 for supplies in just two years. Money she used in part to purchase Kindles to help bright students who were reluctant to read. I said, if it makes you feel any better, I said, both of my parents are illiterate. I said, you guys are having a hard time reading. And one kid said, I'll just tell you, I can't read. Which made the other three go, I need a lot of help with it either. I said, I'm going to get us some Kindle Fires. And because I, I really want to not just teach them read, but bring in the technology part too. And uh, they got so excited. Yes, yes, yes. And, and we'll just make it laid back. And they're real eager. And if ever, just do one, one little part, you know, I mean, I can't change the world, but if I can take four kids and bring them up to a level two or a level three reading this year, then it makes me feel good. Go, 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 go faster, go faster, go faster. Yay, robot. Ms. Pepper started an after-school STEM club. She cheered students on as they constructed innovative robotics and weight-defying bridges worthy of competition. She showed how a bridge to their future could be built or at least fixed in a day with determination and a little glue. On the way in, one of the kids tripped and dropped his bridge. So, you know, like any good parent, you know, when you have a kid, you've always got, you know, extra diapers, extra food, wipes. Well, I had glue and everything in the world just in case something happened. We picked up the two bridges. I said, rip the bottom legs off, and I stuck them together. <laughs> now they're like a little action right there. I said, now we're still going to all enter. We're going to enter this one bridge. So I took the legs off the other one and put it down there, and we won second place. And everybody got so excited because we didn't have a clue what we were doing. You know, I'm not a bridge builder, I'm not an engineer, but it's about, to me, you put these kids, you give them the material, you give them confidence, and let them go for it. Good job. She reaches out to the students that are not as involved in the academic type things, academic field trips, reaches out and gives them an opportunity to participate and bring them aboard. Again, opening their eyes to a whole new, a whole new world of possibilities. She, she knows that sometimes kids have difficulty understanding something and she helps us understand it without making us feel 
less important in this classroom. She gives us a laugh sometimes when, when we're like trying to get something done that is like frustrating to us. She gives us a laugh on that. What makes Miss Pepper special okay. is that the remarkable relationship that she has with our students and our staff. She always has a smile on her face. She's always a positive uh, individual. And <laughs> bottom line, those relationships are at the center and at the heart of her success with our kids. Under the motto, it is never too late to learn, Ms. Pepper volunteers as the junior class sponsor, overseeing the fashion show and prom. She is involved in a national training program that focuses in on understanding issues involving social justice, diversity, and discrimination. But when asked, she says she is most proud of watching her students triumph over hardship and adversity. These are kids that just need some attention, I think. Um, you know, and I'm not going to say oh, all my kids love me. I'm sure the ones that I write send to ABS, but the funny thing is, if you get uh, a referral in my class, it just means you got to spend more time with me because I'm in charge of ABS. <laughs> in a long line of first, Ms. Pepper and a group of her STEM club students won first place in the senior game division of a prestigious robotics competition. They will be headed to the RoboFest World Championships in Michigan, where they will compete against more than 60 teams from six countries. For some, this trip marks the first time ever boarding an airplane. But as these students have learned from their teacher, exploring new horizons and taking flight is just part of the journey to life success.